Today is day 115 of the war in Israel and we are coming to you with a weekly update. The main story of our recent days is the ruling by the International Court of Justice in The Hague that Israel's military actions in Gaza may be violating the Genocide Treaty and Israel must report back within 30 days on what it is doing to protect Palestinian lives. This decision outraged Israelis and their supporters worldwide, given that it was Hamas who started the current war on October 7th by massacring over 1,200 Israelis and taking some 240 hostages back into Gaza. Prime Minister Netanyahu responded that it is clear many have yet to learn the lessons of the Holocaust and do not know what genocide really is. Just hours after the court's ruling was announced, the United States suspended their funding to UNRWA after Israel revealed that at least 12 of its employees took part in the October 7 massacres. The United Nations wants UNRWA to continue running schools for children and distributing food in post-war Gaza, but that could be called into question now. A growing list of nations are also freezing their contributions to UNRWA pending an investigation and Israel insists it does not want Hamas, UNRWA or even the Palestinian Authority involved in running Gaza once the war ends. Meanwhile, the IDF says its battle with Hamas in Kanyunis is almost finished, but no more hostages have been rescued yet and Israel and the US believe that 80% of the terror tunnels in Gaza are still intact. We thank you for your continued prayer and we bless you from Jerusalem.